Hi, it's Krista with ArtisticVegan.com. Welcome to my kitchen and another Artistic Vegan show. I'm happy to be with you today to bring you a mixed berry pie, a mixture of blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries on a homemade crust with a lattice crust on top. It is going to be just really beautiful and delicious. I made this for my husband's birthday, Gerald Clark. It was December 23rd. Happy birthday, Gerald. He know, I know he'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you left him a happy birthday, I'm sure it would make his day. Let me get into how to make this recipe. To make the crust, you'll want to combine the oats and process them into an oat flour, mix in a gluten-free all-purpose flour with a little bit of salt, combine that together and then add your coconut butter. Mix this in until it forms little pea-sized shapes. And then you can add your water until it creates a dough. So it's not too hard, then you divide that in two and you press that into a greased pie dish and then you can put that in the fridge and wrap the other half of the dough in saran wrap and make the filling. To make the filling, you'll want to take your berries with some dates, and I'm using dates for a lower glycemic index, and it's just healthier for you. And then you'll also want to add a little bit of lemon juice, and you'll cook that for about five minutes or so on a medium heat until it begins to develop a nice color and starts breaking down, five to ten minutes. And then you can take some of that liquid out and mix it with a little bit of starch and mix that together and then mix that back in for another two minutes or so until it thickens up and then remove it from the heat. Once you remove it from the heat, you can add a little bit of coconut butter or coconut oil and this will just make it that much more delicious. So set that aside, let it cool, and once it's cool, then you can put it in your prepared pie dish, roll out the other piece of the pie dough, and then cut it into strips. I went with a little bit of fatter strips and then make your lattice topping. You can also just put the pie crust on top and cut some slits on top and that's fine too. Bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I put mine on a baking sheet lined with um, tin foil, but you could use parchment paper just to catch any drippings. Luckily there weren't any, but just in case. And you want to bake that for about 40 to 45 minutes. I went 45 to 50 just to make it nice and golden. Then remove it, put it on a cooling rack, let it cool. You want it to cool for three to four hours and then in the fridge until it firms if you want a perfect slice. But of course, I couldn't wait and my husband couldn't wait, so we had a piece after about 10 minutes. <laughs> It's so delicious. Who doesn't love a hot piece of berry pie? Once you let it cool completely and you put it in the fridge overnight, the very next day you'll have a perfect slice. The berries hold together in there just ever so nicely. It's absolutely delicious. Go to artisticvegan.com to get the recipe. I know you're going to love it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I can't wait to see you next time. Please like, comment, and subscribe. 
and go to Artistic Vegan Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those kind of things, and subscribe to artisticvegan.com for more content. And if you want premium content, you can get that at artisticvegan.vhx.tv. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone!